All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. Yeah. Um, Ryan, let's talk about the next player. People think that we play with the double pivot, but I tend to think Mason Mount creates a midfield three many a times, many a times. That, that pass that we saw from Mason Mount for, in the Champions League was literally from midfield. Even though if you see the formation, he started off playing as, as one of the inside forwards. So, I mean, talk us through that. I, I feel like Mason Mount's... And I want to play a clip here because this, this goal here from Mason Mount was fantastic. I, I just want to share this with you guys before we go back to Ryan's, um, uh, Ryan's uh, screen. This particular, guys, have a look at... There's quite a few things to actually talk about here. Um, first of all, now go back to this formational sort of situation from um, Ryan. Ryan, I feel like Mount's role is so, so misunderstood as well. They, they think that Mount is one of the inside forwards and that's what he does. But there's so much more that Mount does, man. He drops deep. This is from my observation, right? And, and I know you're going to explain even more. I see Mount dropping into the midfield and creating a midfield three. I see Mount sometimes in the wings, as we've just clearly seen against Liverpool. I see sometimes against Porto, where he scored that goal, which was a proper inside forward position where Jorginho threaded that ball in. I mean, how do you see Mason Mount's role under Thomas Tuchel? Yeah, I, I mean, I just loaded up like uh, I just threw like a. Uh, interesting shape this is how we build play when we are really pressed like when we are really really pressed chiller would drop deep next to rudiger to make a back four and then mount would drop into a left midfielder position a lm position if you can see it's kind of makeshift 442 that we build mm. play with which is amazing it's something i didn't really see from our tuchel in any of his other systems so that's to say how flexible of a tactician he really is and how mm. important having a player like mason mount is too because you need to remember this guy was starting here right attacking mid and now he's here in the build-up play yeah. so yeah. that's how important having a player like mount is he allows you to switch from formation to formation to formation bang on the game. bang on bang on and yep. that is why and it's not only that, it's the fluid front three. It's having a guy who can drop here, who can get our wing back to be here. It's mm. a lot of things, man. Uh, even L literally, 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 Ryan, we saw in that particular um, uh, goal against Liverpool, Reese James was the fourth player into the box. Yeah. And even here, like Werner dropping here. Now, even though Mount is a really good left midfielder, he can be a left winger if needed to and get in behind. Hmm. Uh, so we have a lot of players who can, who are so dynamic that they allow us to change between games and be really, really fluid. And that's something that you see a lot with uh, Manchester City also. They have players like Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, Gundogan, who can get into those positions too. Could get yeah. deep, could get wide, could get forward. And I think that we're really lucky. Club um, said it, this squad is a gift for a manager like Tuchel. It's yeah, like his man. toys and he could just play with them. And, you know, I'm, re I'm really excited to see what he does next season. Yeah, no, 100%. I'm so glad, Ryan, you said that, that Mount's role, people so think that he's just an inside forward. No, he's not. He's literally sometimes on the left, as Ryan just showed, sometimes he's on the right, sometimes he's midfield. It, Mount's role allows us to be so flexible in this formation. And it's literally not even 3-4-3 three, three anymore. That, that looks like a 4-4-2 now, if you have a look. 